Great. My name is Rafael Say. I'm the co-founder of a one-for-one -one t-shirt line named Royal Dynamite. But what we do is, is we sell fan-favorite designs on t-shirts, and for every t-shirt we sell, we donate an education package to a needy child starting in Sierra Leone, West Africa. Another part of our concept is collaborative style for awareness, which is where we brought in Issa Rae and we worked with her in her web series, Misadventures of Awkward Black Girl. I uh, went to school with Issa, uh, high school, we went to King Drew Medical Magnet. Funnily enough, we both aren't in the medical field, <laughs> but that's where we met. You know, no, we... Ralph clowned me in high school. I just want the world to know that. <laughs> I still, there's one thing that I remember Ralph cornering me because I, when I was just speaking on the subject of not being like black enough, I didn't know what dub meant, right? Know what it meant. <laughs> but then someone told me it meant 20. So I was like, okay, cool, there's my answer. And then Ralph, I don't know how it even happened. Maybe we were on our way to the bus. But he was like, hey, Joe, what's a dub? And I was like, 20s. <laughs> he was like, but what does that mean? And I was like, 20s. And he followed me down the hallway. I guess he wanted me to say rims or right, something. Probably, yeah, probably so. <laughs> but anyway, that was just, he was just a class cloud. And then ultimately that developed into, he, was, he definitely believed, you know, in um, Aqua Black Girl early on. He like called episode four or five for this collaboration. And I was looking for t-shirts. And so both of us have an African uh, heritage. Um, I didn't know Issa was Senegalese until I, I, I want to say senior year or something like that. And then that's because that's when I really knew what her last name was. Uh, my sister was getting married to a Senegalese guy with the same last name. Mm -hmm. And I called her, I said, oh, okay, Joey said Joe. Her last name were the same, so I figured she was Senegalese. I want to say I asked her and she said she was. And I'm a second generation immigrant, you know, where my mother was actually on ground in Sierra Leone, moved here. Um, I'm pretty much based here. So my son will never, you know, get to really understand as much as I did. I got it firsthand from my parents. I grew up here, so he wouldn't really have that correlation to Sierra Leone, so it's up to us to really push that. I completely agree. I think that right now the culture is get out of Africa and, and go to you know Europe or you know the States to try to get an education and to um, thrive out here. And I think that you know we're losing so many great thinkers, we're losing so many great minds, and it's extremely important to you know if you're if you're going to leave the country, if you're going to leave the continent to come back and. Uh, to distribute the wealth of knowledge that yeah. you know you've you've come across yourself, and to to pass the torch, but sim simply abandon the country um, is 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 just a huge detriment to yeah. the culture and and the future. Totally agree. Uh, for me, in ten years, I definitely want to be a successful entrepreneur. Uh, oh man, see myself in ten years is hard, but ideally, I'd like to be. I'd like to have a TV show on the air, to have produced several film projects, um, and I'd like to have changed the media la landscape in terms of um, the representation of people of color. And I really want to have an involvement in, you know, Senegalese media, it's super, super hardcore. Uh, in terms of us, our relationship, definitely be doing business together in the next 10 years. As she said, I mean, she, she definitely wants to be in Africa, hopefully raising kids. And I have the same aspirations. I do definitely want to raise my kids in Sierra Leone and hopefully we can now travel. I can take my kids to Senegal to meet her kids and they can hang out for summers and things of that. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh,